Were you at the counter? Yeah, I was there. You were there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me exactly what happened when Mr. Rose came in? Yeah, he came and uh, I want to explain to you first. I, I don't speak good English, but he came and asked for cigars. I gave it to him and put it on the counter. When he threw it at me 33 cents, he walked away. I told him, hey, hey man, this is a dollar. What? It's not a dollar. He started to argue, argue with, with you. And say, hey, if you don't want it, just leave over there. You don't have to argue with me. And no, oh, okay, you, you overcharge me, sir. The price is on the it's printed. It's, it's printed on the on the cigars. And he has tried to are you with me? He's tried to fight with me, you know. He said, hey, No, come, he come was outside. argumentative. You could see it from this. He, he can explain to you better what's going on that day because no. he saw the video. He spat on his face. He spat, he spat on my face. face. He spat on my face. That's total lie. Uh, it makes some threats. It That's the reason threats. why we call the police and we have the police report. May I see the police report, yes. please? So after this incident, you called the police? Yeah, we called the police. Okay, I'd like to see the police report. Do you have a copy of the police report, Mr. Well, Rose? No, well, I've never heard of it, Your okay. Honor. March 15th. Exactly, 4.15 p.m. Do you have any proof, sir, that this happened in December? Well, the incident that I'm referring to happened in December, ma Your Honor. Well, but I've that, come but to that was... But there was another incident in March. I don't even know what he's referring to. I've never okay. spat on okay, him. Okay, well, this is you. Yes. You clearly had an argument with him. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Okay. And do you have any proof that the incident that you described occurred in December? Is there any proof that you have that it occurred in December? Does your phone indicate that it occurred in December? On the recording, when I recorded yes, it? Yes, it should, if it's in December. May I? If, if it's in December, that would be very relevant to me. Thank you. I don't know how I would see the date on there. Wow. You have no proof. Shh. Your Honor, it doesn't show a date on here at all. all. Uh, my, so, my witness can attest that when this incident happened that I'm telling you about, at, like days after I had the altercations when I walked in the store and saw this picture up, this has just been happening since December. I've been going to the store. I live a block from the yeah, store. Yeah, but you were arguing, listen to me, mm -hmm. you were arguing with this gentleman in this picture. Clearly, you are furious, Mr. Rose, That's, yeah, in exactly. this picture, mm -hmm. okay? Why you get furious over a cigar, I have no idea. If they choose to charge a dollar for a cigar that's worth 50 cents, you don't have to go in there and buy from him. But you were clearly furious. Well, I'm sorry. Well, I was furious because he was cussing at me and provoke, trying to provoke me to, to fight with him. Oh, <laughs> please, Mr. Rose. That's ridiculous. Mr. Okay, Rose, that's, that's ridiculous. Truth, According, no. According to you, and I read your case very, very carefully, you had been going to this store all the time. Yes, I would know. All the time. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever provoked you before, because otherwise, and you're not an unintelligent man, Mr. Rose, because if you were an unintelligent man, I would say, well, if somebody provokes you, he's not nice to you, you don't go to the store. But clearly, you never had a problem in the store before, so if you went and you had an argument over the price of a cigar, that doesn't actually require this. It requires, you know what? I'm not buying this cigar. Well, and you walk away. You say, I'll buy my cigar someplace else. What do you want? Yeah, well, I'm, you know, excuse me. You weren't here. No, I wasn't well, there. You weren't there because you're nowhere in the picture. Right, right, right. Sit down. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they think it's a joke. I mean, Your Honor, No, they... I don't think it's a... Mr. Rose, I don't think it's a joke, but clearly an incident happened over a cigar that you wanted to purchase that you got very excited over. This man says that what you did was take the cigar and leave with it and threw down what you wanted to pay for it, which was 33 cents. Mm -hmm. They called the police and made a report immediately. Now, the only other question that I'm going to ask, which may be dispositive, when for the first time did you decide to sue them in what month and year? Uh, September. This September? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, your case is dismissed. We're done. I don't believe you. Why is that excuse me? Step out. I have the right to refuse service to anyone, so I'm not going to allow them to store no more. How detrimental would it be to you if someone had your picture up for nine months? Based on what they told me, I'm not doing anything illegal. As a shoplifter, and you haven't shoplifted anything. And I want to continue doing the same thing I'm doing. Who would believe? Someone pays 33 cents for a, a something that costs a dollar and walks out. I'm just protecting my business. Just, I mean, it's common sense. <laughs>